Oh, I was so exhausted. <laughs> There's no way I can go. <laughs> but I knew I had to. I didn't want you all to miss this. <laughs> So much for that. <clears throat> I was pretty shaky though, because I had put through so much effort trying to stay on the bed. <laughs> she got me up to about my thigh, and I was holding on for dear life. Well, security wouldn't do anything, so Patty gets her cell phone out and she calls Fred, my guardian angel. <laughs> And he comes, and he says, all right, here's what we're going to do. And boy, he swerved me all around. I was on the bed, feet, and everything. <laughs> and any desire that I might have. Oh. <laughs> I've never heard that since. <laughs> I don't bet you haven't either. <laughs> he was a wonderful man. He was, he was so kind to everybody. And he was so smart. You know, he was an engineer. <laughs> and he was he was just everything I ever dreamed of having. I really loved him. And he taught me the program of AA just by watching him. I watched what he did. I watched the way he treated people. I usually went to the good looking ones, you know. I treated them nice, but everybody else. <laughs> but I learned so much. It was just a, a marvelous experience. And we got married and we had three little girls. Beautiful kids. And I thought I had died and gone to heaven because this was everything I ever wanted. I wanted a home of my own. I wanted sobriety. I wanted my babies. And most of all, I wanted him. And when <clears throat> we were married 11 years, and he died of cancer, he was sick two years. And I tried to get used to this. I tried to think, what will I do without him? Because back then, they didn't have anything but radiation to treat cancer. And he had cancer of the esophagus. And he went to Johns Hopkins Hospital to be operated on. But when they opened him up, it had spread to his chest. And it was inoperable. They gave him radi the radiation and I knew what cancer did to people. And I just couldn't imagine that I could ever live without this man to guide me, to teach me, to love me. The day finally came when he did die. He said, I want to take the kids to, uh, we used to go to Cherry Grove that's in uh, South Carolina. And the beach there was wonderful because it went out way out before, you know, the kids could go half a mile out and, and still be okay. And um, he said, I want to take him there for one last time. I said, okay, let's go. So we went and he swam with them and he, you know, just, spent every minute he could with them. And so they would have happy memories of him. 